वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज नेम्ड एज पॉलर प्लॉट सो अ पॉलर प्लॉट इज ए प्लॉट विच कैन बी ड्रॉन बिटवीन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड द फेज ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा एंड एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा बाय वेरिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा फ्रॉम जीरो टू इनफाइनाइट सो वट डज इट मीन्स अ पोलर प्लॉट इज बेसिकली अ प्लॉट विच कैन बी ड्रॉन बिटवीन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड द फेज ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा एंड एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा ऑन विच द जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा एंड एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा डिपेंड्स वेरीज फ्राम जीरो टू इनफाइनाइट सो डेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा स्टार्ट फ्राम जीरो एंड ऑलवेज एंड सेट इनफाइनाइट मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज इन द पोलर प्लॉट द मैग्नीट्यूड दैट इज मॉड ऑफ जी ऑफ जे ओमेगा is always be plotted as a distance from the origin so here is the graph having the four quadrants and on to which we will plot a polar plot so here is the zero and here is two according to the second point the magnitude that is mod of g of j omega is plotted as a distance from origin so if the polar plot is plotted as something like this so the distance between 0 and 2 is always be represented as a magnitude because this distance is always be calculated with respect to origin only and this 2 is nothing but a magnitude that is mod of g of j omega moving on to the next point that is in the polar plot the phase angle is measured with respect to real axis so always the phase angle in the polar plot is measured with respect to real axis that's why if we have a different different angle in this third quadrant then the angle will always be measured with respect to this real axis we will always take a reference of this real axis to make an angle if we want to plot 45 degree then we will plot something like that and take a reference from this real axis that is this is 45 degree angle as we have taken the reference with the this real axis that's why it is written here moving on to the fourth point it is an advantage or the use of polar plot so the polar plot is used to find out stability of a closed loop system from its open loop frequency response so in the question we are generally given g of s that is open loop transfer function and we need to check that the stability of a closed loop system that is our closed loop system is stable or not so how can we do this we can only do this by the help of polar plot and do the stability checking by this plot here is a normal graph having the four quadrants quadrant first second third and four likewise if we talk about the positive angles then the positive angles will always be calculated in anti clockwise direction here is a zero here is a plus 90 that is in the anti clockwise direction moving on to the anti clockwise direction we got plus 180 here moving on further we got 270 here plus 270 and then we again get 360 or 0 but if we talk about the negative angles then it will always be calculated in clockwise direction here is the 0 degree and if we want to go to minus 90 degree then it will be here and if we further move on clockwise direction then it will be minus 180 degree if we further move on in the clockwise direction then it will be minus 270 so we can say that positive angle can always be evaluated in anti clockwise direction whereas negative angles will always be evaluated in clockwise direction only this is a basic introduction of polar plot thank you